going to say, I didn't volunteer for that part, but you know, this is really interesting. We know exactly when they will come out. Now we can know where. So take a look. This is a new app that just came out that you can actually see the emergence live on this live map where you can track exactly where those cicadas are. Now, you know, with this new technology that we never could have imagined 17 years ago, I checked this morning. There's already been several sightings, including right here at Jefferson Manor Park. Not only are we going to have these historical links to the past, but also to see are they still where they're supposed to be. And I fully expect that we're going to find some counties and some parts of some states where they've never been reported before that brood 10 has always been there and has been missed. Now that's the benefit of this newer technology. Researchers expect to find areas where the cicadas have never been reported before. Dr. Jean Kritsky with Mount St. Joseph University says they've always relied on crowdsourcing to document the cicadas arrival. Now the difference is that back in the 1840s, they used to write letters into newspapers asking people to document where they found the insects. Fast forward to 1987, Kritsky says he personally used an answering machine for people to call in and leave voicemails. And 17 years ago, he says he relied heavily on emails. Well, now this year, there's a new free app called Cicada Safari, and here's how it works. You take a photo uh, or a video on your phone and you can submit it on the app. Well, then automatically upload with the longitude and the latitude of where it can be found. Researchers say this newer technology will allow them to possibly receive tens of thousands of photographs just this year. They're the, uh, the grandkids of the kids I saw about, of the cicadas I saw in 1987. It's this link to the past. There's something comforting about the idea that we don't know when the pandemic's going to end, but the cicadas are going to come out. Now, Kritsky says, uh, you know, he's been studying the cicadas for nearly 40 years. Last year, he spent some time in Virginia tracking the brood nine using this very app. He says back then they received about 8,000 reports of sightings. And for perspective, he says this year they expect to have around 52 thousand photographs photographs and of course the number of cicadas will be in the billions and as for that big question of when as we said we've already seen some sightings and he did say that with that warmer weather that warmer soil temperature he expects the majority to be out within the next two weeks tony mm, quite fascinating all right thank